Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jesse Coyle and this is beach racing. This is a part of cycling that I had actually never seen or heard of until now. I don't know why, because it is absolutely awesome. Uh, so this video, I'm gonna run through what, uh, from my understanding, what beach, ra beach racing is, show you some of the pros that, from the road that are getting into it, and also take a look at some of the bikes and tech that's being used, because this is a really awesome sport. I was actually on uh, Eva Slick's Instagram, who's uh, one of the guys that I met and raced with when I raced over in Holland, and he was posting a lot of these sort of photos um, down here, like these ones, and I was like, for a while I assumed he was just doing mountain biking because it looks like a mountain bike, but then I, I, I dug a bit further and realized what he was doing was actually beach racing. So I've got footage here from one of the biggest beach races in the world. This is Pana Beach Endurance, which from what I can tell is one of the highlight events. It is on the border between France and Belgium on the beach there. And beach racing is like a cross between gravel racing, cyclocross, a bit of mountain biking and also like a Grand Fondo because you can see here the cool thing about beach racing is it's a mass start. So you've got in here your pro beach racers, you've also got pros from the road in their off season and then you've got all the way down to like cyclo sportive tourists all starting off in this massive pack um, just launching it across the sand and um, it's on, it's actually on at the moment, I think. It's it's through winter over in Europe. Um, so you can see here the mix of abilities, like some of these guys uh, look like sort of punters, um, but everyone goes off just in one massive wave. So yeah, I was saying it was it's over um, through the winter over in, I think it's po most popular in Belgium and Holland. Um, so you've got a lot of the pros in there from the road in their off season using it as a bit of cross training, as a bit of fun. But then you've also got the continental level guys from the road over in Europe who this is like a pretty big sport for them. They kind of do road and like, like Ivar Slick I was showing before, he's like a beach racer. He, so he does road stuff and then he does his, his beach racing. So you can see here full gas from the gun. Like look how, look how big this pack is. It is insane. So you can see how wide the actual beaches, so there's heaps of heaps of room. So they go down, I looked at the course map, they go down the beach on the sort of hard packed sand, then they kind of loop back up um, more inland and sort of cut in on the softer sand and sort of go, go through little bits sort of back up, um, sort of off the beach. But most of it's on sand. You can see there's a bit of a mix. Most of the guys are on sort of flat bar, mountain bike style handlebars. But there are a few guys on cyclocross looking bikes with, with drop handlebars. So the pack is starting to split here. So we've got, here we go. So that's Eve Lampart from Quickstep there on the left of screen. Um, you've also got, this looks like some sort of continental level teams over in Europe. Uh, and as I said, yeah, so we've got sort of, this is like a, this guy's on a mountain bike with drop handlebars. This guy's on a mountain bike with rim brakes with flat bars. Then you've got Eva here, who's kind of like one of the more pro. He was the Euro. He's actually that's the European champ skin suit. So he's the European beach racing champ. So he's got the full setup with the disc brakes, more of a mountain bike style, but with really fat tires. You can see here groups starting to split again. Um, other pros in here. There is Tim de Klerk is in here somewhere. You can see there at the back the big shoulders, the classic style. That's Tim de Klerk doing a bit of off season training. Looks like there's maybe a bit of crossy coming from the from the coastline heading inland. So you can see they're starting to fan out, form a bit of a pack up the front. Just to show you some of the names that have entered this race. So this is the results here from 2021. We've got Eve Lampart actually third. Eve Slick, I was saying, he was in seventh. Tim De Klerk in ninth. So good top 10 result. Other pros from the road I saw was, what's his, uh, Jens Kirkulair coming in 17th. Um, they were the main, main names in here. So you've got um, mostly Belgium riders here, so in terms of nationality, if it's blank, that's, they're from Belgium. You've got Netherlands here, and then a couple of French riders, actually one, one, two, three, couple of French, but mostly um, Belgian and Dutch. So the race is about 53 kilometers and took them about an hour and 35 minutes. So they're averaging, from what I could tell, about 31, 32K an hour, which is pretty quick given they're almost riding fat bikes. Like you can see, look at that aero posse actually. 
That guy was like forearms resting on the bars on a fat bike on the sand. I just find this is awesome. Imagine if you had this in Australia, uh, beach racing across Bondi Beach. Um, so moves going here. I'd be interested to know, like looking at this purely off face value, I thought having drop bars would actually put you at a bit of an advantage because with an average speed of 32k an hour, and it doesn't look that technical, at least this section on more of the hard pack sand, I would have thought having drop bars would be better to have that position option and then to be a little bit more aero. So if anyone does beach racing or knows about it, let me know why some of the guys are using drop bars and some of the other guys are using flat bars. Interested to know, you know, I, I, you know, in my mind, it sounds like, well, you know, I would have thought you would go for drop bars, at least if you're the guys at the front of the pack here. Um, but yeah, a lot of the good riders do use do use flat bars. So interested to know if you, if you know the answer to that, put it down in the comments. So this is the pack here rolling through. Here's Tim DeClerc going through to pull his turn. Really strong. All of these riders would have to be super fit for this because you're <laughs> if you stop pedaling in this, you would come to a stop so quickly. Like this would just be constant pressure on the pedals. You you have like. Your, your inertia in this is, is not very good because the rolling resistance of the sand slows you down so much. So this would just be, this would be so brutal. And they are hooking along here. Like you can see the speed. They must, the sand must get a lot looser when they go further up the coast because looking at this, I'm thinking, geez, they must be averaging 35, 40 K an hour um, at least. But the average speed for the whole race is a lot slower. So there's obviously more technical sections. Sorry, I'm midway through and I just had to go back and watch the start of this race again because this is the <laughs> this bit I just find. Look how many people there are. This is and it's like the world's biggest cyclocross start. Um, this is I had to replay this because this is awesome. Like it goes the pack goes back so far. Old mate off the front here has dropped too many watt bombs starting to single out but you can just see there must be hundreds and hundreds of people doing this so i've actually gone back to the 2018 race just to it has a bit um the camera footage is a bit better so just to show you how insane this start is so gun goes off and it's like i've never seen anything like it it's incredible look how many people there are um insane so taking a look at some of the bikes and tech, this is actually a good photo to have a look at it. Uh, so it seems like it's pretty varied. So we've got some drop handlebars, some flat handlebars. But the thing is, so these look like they would be standard-ish sort of gravel bikes. But the tires they're using are really fat. Like this, these almost look wider than a mountain bike tire. Or maybe, maybe similar width to a, quite a fat mountain bike tire. And then over on Tim DeClerc's Instagram, uh, we've got, this is Tim here, he's got the disc brakes and the S-Works, and then Eve Lampard's on rim brake, a rim brake mountain bike fat tyre thing um, with flat bars. Interesting. And you can see, like, to me, I don't know what this is, because those forks don't look like the mountain bike forks. So I don't know if, th if, if this is like a, some sort of touring bike or... Yeah, if someone knows, let me know. But this doesn't even look like a mountain bike. I'm not sure what this actually is. Um, maybe it's the mountain bike frame and then a different fork he's gotten. It looks like some other pros also get into it. So this is Florian Vermeesh uh, from one of the races. So definitely some of the pros using this to get fit coming out of the off-season. Other interesting bit of tech from 2018 was this, this rider here that won it. Uh, he's got a rim brake, it looks like a rim brake mountain bike, but with a ceramic speed OSPW, uh, which is like, that would just get full of sand. Um, it's an interesting marginal gain for what is such a friction filled <laughs> event. And then on the back here, that is a little inflator that kind of blows foam into the tire if you get a flat. Um, so he must be on tubeless here. And that blows like a foam that fills the tire. So it's not, it's similar to like a CO2 inflator, but it bl blows a foam in, which seals any of the holes. So yeah, just, just an interesting, um, obviously really strong rider, but just an interesting tech. 
All right, so this is an hour and a half in, coming into the final few hundred meters of the race. Let's see how it played out. These guys would be so, so cooked by now because you can't really freewheel. Um, you'd barely get a chance to rest. So it looks like a bit of a softer sand for the finish, and these two on the front are just going to swing to the right-hand side of the sand, absolutely in the gutter. And you can see that looks like Eve Lampart there on the front of the chasing pack, just trying to hold them, but these guys are way too strong. Um, so just fully, that was actually, that split really quickly. So it looked like, you can see there, so pink, uh, pink on the front, just sends it around this last corner. Sprint, 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 all in the saddle as well. Staying in the saddle and then just drops the hammer. And these guys just can't, I mean, they're all, they were all together there but just too strong at the end for these two absolutely hammering and you know to be to be dropping eve lampart out of a corner an hour and a half into a race um yeah he's coming out of his off season but these guys must be super fit sorry i don't know their names i'm not familiar with you know with with the um the start list too much uh tim de clerk they're just hanging on and then a soft sand finish which is just <laughs> brutal um so sprinting here looks like a Couple of hundred meters to go. Super soft sand. The punters on the right, they're going to walk it in. And then, yeah, so drop bars win, actually. That's interesting. So drop bars for the win. And then pink jersey, who was hammering it. He looks pretty pissed off. Um, he's the guy that actually split it, comes in second. Lampart third. Couple of Conti guys, then rolling in. Euro champ Eva in the top 10. And then Tim de Klerk as well. So interesting that it all stayed together until about a minute to go. And then it just totally blew to bits. Um, really cool finish. And that's it. That's about it for this video, guys.